on such a cold day. I, and so thanks to everyone for coming here today and standing up for Race to Racism. I was recently selected as Labour's parliamentary candidate for this seat, the cities of London and Westminster. It's a target seat with only 3,000 majority for the Tories. So I hope you'll help me to turn this seat red for the first time in history at the next general election. I want to help form a Labour government and in its first days I would like it to repeal the racist immigration acts and the Islamophobic extremism act which was brought in by Theresa May and is part of her flagship policy to try to create a hostile environment in this country for migrants and for UK Muslims while they continue with the cruel austerity. I was once naive enough to believe that history was all about progress, that we could leave behind racism and become a more multicultural society as part of an integrated world. But you only need to look at the racist immigration policies of this government, at the rise of hate crimes after the Brexit vote, at the proliferation of far-right groups in the UK and Europe, and the election of Donald Trump to see that history is not all progress and that we need to stand up to racism in each and every generation. I was proud as a priest this week to meet with a Pakistani Muslim friend of mine and the two of us went together to the Spanish and Portuguese synagogue to support a rabbi colleague of mine who I know from my work with Unite Faith Workers Branch and who is a champion for transgender rights. And such acts of multi-faith and multicultural solidarity are what I cherish in this country. I want the history we make here to be that history, the history of people of difference standing together against anti-Semitism, against Islamophobia, against transphobia, against all who seek to divide us. I want the equal integration that the Muslim Council of Britain called for this week, saying that everyone should be seen to make an equal and important contribution to our society, Muslim and non-Muslim, migrant and non-migrant. I want our history to be a history of welcoming migrants, of welcoming refugees, of standing up to all forms of hate. But I can tell you there's one bit of history I don't want to be part of, and that is the welcoming of Donald Trump to this country. Don't think Theresa May has given up on that. And if that visit is going to happen, we need to mobilise not only in our tens of thousands, not only in our hundreds of thousands, but have millions on the street to say that Donald Trump, his sexism, his racism, his Islamophobia is not welcome here. Let's say it loud and clear, Donald Trump, not welcome here. Thank you.